Today we're looking at one of my favourite breeds, the Bull Mastiff, and how playful they are or aren't. Stick around to find out and we'll go over some of the games you can play with your Bull Mastiff too. Welcome back to the Bull Mastiff channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Bull Mastiff and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Bull Mastiff. So if you're a lifelong Bull Mastiff lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Bull Mastiff, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Bullmaster video. Let's dive into today's video and we'll take a look at the playfulness of this beautiful breed. Almost every canine breed on the planet will be quite playful through their first year and many will continue to behave like puppies in some ways for up to their first four years of life. The age that a dog reaches maturity varies from breed to breed, and many of their influences impact on this individual level. Like people, some individuals are more introverted than others, even if the breed is generally outgoing. So, with that in mind, we're going to be looking at the Bull Mastiff's breed general playfulness, but remember, each canine is unique. Alright, with all that out of the way, let's dig right in and look for one of the most significant factors in a breed's playfulness, their energy level. The Bull Mastiff reaches maturity around two years of age, and with their puppy and teenage years coming to a close, their energy levels drop. They're generally a very low energy breed, so even their crazy puppy energy isn't all that crazy compared to other working breeds. When motivated and no matter their age, be prepared to see your typically lumbering canine companion turn into the swift and agile athlete they were bred to be. Remember, they were bred to detect and chase down poachers on large estate grounds and hold the poacher until the gameskeeper caught up. Teaching them a game like hide and seek in a controlled environment could be one way to work their mind and instincts while still playing with your bull mastiff. Make sure their reward for finding you or the hidden object is worthy of their effort to keep it a game they want to play. The Bull Mastiff is quite trainable to a point, and when they are adequately motivated, if your idea of a playful canine is one who loves to play fetch for hours or learn tricks, then the Bull Mastiff isn't your kind of playful. They're not high achievers and are content with very little exercise and a whole lot of cuddles. They may chew on a bone or toy and fling it around if they're feeling particularly goofy, but their antics are subdued and don't involve tons of movement. This isn't to say that you can't teach them any tricks or games, it just means you'll have to find the right game and motivation to keep them interested in playing. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, I wanted to quickly let you know if you didn't know already that I have a completely free course called The Principle to the perfect puppy. In that course, I break down all of the most important things that I think you absolutely have to know and understand for you to become a high-level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you want to go and check out my completely free principles to the perfect puppy course, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Thousands of people have taken that and had incredible success. So I can't wait to see you over there. Again, there'll be a link in the description box below. I'll see you on that course. Canines typically play a bit more with children and feed off their energy and the Bull Mastiff is no exception. This is one area where their low energy is a huge asset if you have children since they're an incredibly tolerant and gentle breed when playing. Their family will see their playful side of the Bull Mastiff that few others will. This is partly because they are watchful of strangers on instinct and play requires them to let their guard down a bit. Some might prefer a, prefer a short session with a flirple or a game of tug. And if you have ever been known to like fetch, you'll need to try different things to see what your Bullmaster likes and adapt as they age or get bored. Most Bullmasters enjoy some wrestling and light roughhousing with adults in the family since it quickly turns into cuddles when they lose steam. Speaking of cuddles, let's look at how inclined the Bullmaster is towards affection versus independence. Like most working breeds, they're happiest when their whole family is at home, but they do quite well alone as well. Give them a few toys to play with during the day and you might come home to find your Bull Mastiff hasn't moved at all once they've reached their maturity age. Before that age, they can be prone to some mischief of all young canines when their energy collides with boredom. And they find a sometimes destructive way to entertain themselves. When you're home, they'll track you from room to room and come and snuggle up as close as they can get. 
A little low-key playtime on the floor and lots of cuddles are their favourite activities of this breed once they've grown up. Overall, the Bull Massif is a very balanced breed when it comes to their playfulness. They'll play more and play harder when they're still puppies, of course, and this will mellow as they age, as it does with most canines. You'll probably get a solid half hour of quality playtime with your mature Bull Massif each day and plenty of cuddles. They aren't a breed that has the drive to learn tricks or focus on complex tasks like scent detection games. Don't forget to check out all the other videos on the channel to learn more about this fantastic breed's different aspects. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Bull Master videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Bull Master channel.